And uh, I want to welcome you all to this uh, orientation we are doing on uh, VTrender charts today. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you. And uh, it's uh, an honor, okay, to have all of you over here. And thank you, okay, for the love, uh, the affection, okay, and the encouragement, okay, you've been giving us as we've uh, launched uh, VTrender charts. Now, I just wanted to take a few minutes and talk to you about uh, what we're gonna be doing this evening. But uh, essentially, okay, we've called this uh, webinar to answer a lot of your questions and to talk to you about uh, what uh, the VTrender charting program is all about. Now, first and foremost, uh, the entire program, the entire charting interface comes to you from a trader like you, okay? Believe you me, I'm just another trader like you who trades the markets every single day and is aware of all the challenges that uh, you face. And I've been doing it for about uh, 16 years now. And that's just the derivative side of the markets, right? So I am fully aware of uh, what a trader goes through as he navigates the world of the derivatives uh, market from 9.15 to about 3.30 p.m. Uh, our attempt through VTrender charts is to smoothen the curve if we can a little bit for you. Okay, and to give you a few elements uh, which have helped personally our trading at VTrender and our community uh, who have benefited okay, a lot okay, from the features we use. So our attempt over here is just to tell you about how it has worked for us. So be it uh, the market profile which you see in VTrender charts, uh, be it the options suite which we, which we have currently, uh, the way okay, we do options, uh, all that is exactly the way we work and the way we trade every single day. So, so first and foremost, uh, what we are doing at VTrender Charts is uh, we are telling you and we are showing to you how we do it every day. And uh, the reason behind that is uh, if it is working for us, our belief is that it may work for you as well. Okay, now coming back to what we are going to be doing uh, this evening, uh, we are going to be explaining the various elements which are there in uh, VTrender charts. I'm going to begin at the very top and I'm going to be joined okay, by a couple of my colleagues, okay, Suyog and uh, Uttam also, and they're going to be walking you through the various features and the functionalities which we have at VTrender charts. Now, I know a lot of you have a lot of questions okay, in your mind and some of you may have certain very specific key features you are looking at on some very specific questions uh, which you may like to ask us. But uh, the way okay, we have uh, arranged this, this is uh, a three-part series and we want to give you as much information as we possibly can to all the features uh, which are there and in the charting interface. So we'll begin at the very top and we'll break it down into three different parts. And we'll, the first of those parts, okay, would be about the market profile and the options, something, okay, which most of you are familiar with. And then, okay, we dive a little bit more deeper in the coming sessions, okay? So work with us and I want you, okay, as well, okay, to work uh, with me and the team over here and we will walk you through all that is there uh, in the selections in the interfaces, okay, we have open for you, right? Now, the, the most common question, okay, we, re we receive is, uh, what are these charts all about? So I'll just walk you, okay, through what that is. So if you're logged into charts.vtrender.com and uh, you go into the menu on the left-hand side. Now, can all of you see my screen? Can all of you see my screen? Yeah, so if you walk through the, okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, so if you can walk through the screen, you'll have a user manual, okay, at the very bottom. Okay, right over here, user manual. First and foremost, if you're new, okay, to charts.vtrender.com, you need to go through it, okay? This will cover all that. This is the user manual looking at, and it will give you an overview of all that is there in the charting interface. Now, this is not gonna be enough but at least okay, it will tell you what is there and what we are covering in. To just sum it up for you, what we've done is we have included everything which is currently being used in the options market. 
including the options table, including okay, the look at open interest, including the put call build up, all that you would otherwise see in the options market is already there. Plus, we've added a lot of additional features. Okay, now we'll delve into those additional features, but I just wanted to tell you that all that you would otherwise know and otherwise uh, know of in the options market world is there okay in this if you navigate through the menu. So you begin with the user manual, okay? And then there are a couple of videos uh, in the intro video section, at least about three videos are there. At least three videos are there, which will okay, give you an orientation about what this is all about. Okay. Now I want you to take your time, go through those manuals, go through all that is there in the lower half, but I want to begin, okay, at the very top today. Okay. And the section on market profile charts. Now for those, okay, who are not familiar, I, I basically, okay, have been trading, okay, from about 2005, 2006, and I have been humbled by the markets. And when I was humbled, when I lost, okay, my capital to the markets, the question I asked was why? Okay, why is the market not working for me? Why is what I know and what has been taught to me not working to me, working for me, right? And uh, I kept asking questions. And fortunately for me, I was surrounded by a community, by a group of people, and uh, the answers okay started coming. And I decided to shift my focus uh, from price to price, volume, and time, all three, all together. Okay, and that's okay. Was the concept of uh, market profile, uh, volume profile bond, right? So the first and foremost, okay, what you would have uh, in the charting interface is a look at the options, and uh, you can check in over here. Use this search bar at the very top. Uh, we've added a few equities also, uh, that some of the top uh, liquid equities, but predominantly you will recognize the charting interface as a specialist program in index options and futures trading. Uh, we are index specialists and uh, we believe, okay, once you start trading the index uh, and you get good at it, there is no need actually for anything else. Okay, you can be the jack of all trades or you can choose to be the master of one. Uh, we've chosen the path to mastery and we believe that uh, the color of money coming to your account okay is going to be the same so why okay delve into 4 5 10 15 20 30 instruments when you can focus on either the nifty or the bank nifty and make all your money in it and at it right so that's uh, our focus uh, we'll focus predominantly in the index and uh, you will get all the options and everything over here uh, you would be getting market profile charts in options also. So you've got the futures over here. You can choose the series of March, April, May, whichever you want to, and uh, you will get the options chart also working for you. So if I want to pick up any option, let's say I want to go in for a 17,000 CE, I just type in over here, okay, and the calls, okay, come to me, right? And then, okay, you can pick up whichever you want. And there are a number of ways, okay, you can navigate. Uh, this is the 16th March today, uh, the call option. There are a number of ways, okay, you can come to this menu. But for those who are not familiar with the market profile, uh, for us, okay, it is a representation of something called a TTO or a time price opportunity, which is represented by the alphabets A, B, C, right up to about M and N, okay? So if you want to think about the market profile, you have to think about it as a 30 minute bar chart or a candlestick chart. The only difference in a market profile is that for each of those 30 minute periods, we give a letter or an alphabet, right? So if the market opens at about 9.15, for the period from 9.15 to 9.45, whatever transpires, whatever happens, uh, you would denote the action or the activity in that 30 minute by the letter A. And if the clock changes to about 9.46, then whatever happens between 9.46 and 10.15, you would represent by the letter B. So on, so you would see all these alphabets appear, that is your market profile chart. So it's a 30 minute chart, your bar or your candlesticks represented, represented in letters and you would get these charts on screen. The advantage 
of plotting data this way is that it allows you to see where the market is building strength, where it is getting accepted, and where okay the market is not trading well, right? So if you go over here in green over here, you would see the VWAP, uh, the VPOC, and everything. So I'm just summar summarizing this right now for you. My colleague okay Suyog will come and he'll give you the final details about what to look at. But this, looking at the markets in terms of TPOs, time price opportunities, and through the market profile, gives you a huge understanding about where the market is trading that particular day, where it has traded, and where it, what it can possibly do next. Now, this is an options chart of today. It can tell you very fairly, okay, where the VWAP is, where the largest concentration of volume was, and what the market did. Right, and you can break this down into a number of other things also. So this is profile. You would get all of the market profile uh, elements over here. You also have a full options table, which you can look at. And then again, the elements of the market profile are here, along with what you already know in terms of open interest, etc. So quickly, okay, if you want to look at all that appears in orange in volume. Okay, would be your largest concentration of would be the areas where the largest concentration of volume was traded. So, if you were to look at 16,900 and about 16,950, this was the area where traders traded the most. So, once you know okay that this is in orange, you can focus okay on the open interest and you can see what time that open interest was high, low, where it is currently, vis a vis all that happened, and all the spikes okay which happened through the day. You also get a representation of all the VWAPs, VPOCs, et cetera, in this option table. As well as you can go back into the past. Let's say this is TPO wise. D period would be the period between 1115, uh, sorry, 1045 to about 1115. That is your D period. So at the end of D period, what the market was representing will also come to you in this option table. And you can go so on, you can go to the G period, you can go okay and look at what the market was doing at 215, which is the K, K period. At the end of K period, whatever the market did, that is also represented over there. So there is a lot of functionality over here for you to explore. The whole idea is to give you a lot more information about what this options table is all about. Okay. And uh, a lot of you have been super excited about what the spectrum is all about. Okay, we're going to be covering spectrum in a lot more detail, but essentially, okay, I want to tell you over here that this works on second order Greeks and it works okay on the binomial uh, options theory. Uh, a lot of you are familiar with what Black and Scholes is, but the binomial method of trading is uh, another uh, method which is um, a good method to arrive at price calculations as good as the BS method. Uh, we've combined a lot of what we know from the B, BT theory, the binomial uh, theory, and uh, the second order Greeks and given you these charts. And essentially, okay, what they would do is uh, they would tell you what we expect the range to be in. So you'll have, okay, that spectrum uh, for Nifty as well as Bank Nifty. Okay, now I call this the jewel in the crown, but uh, these orientation sessions are not just to talk about the jewel, we are talking to you about the entire crown as well. We'll come down to the spectrum in uh, in a bit, maybe okay at the end of the session or maybe in the next session, we'll cover this in detail. We also have the OI chain charts, which you would otherwise get in all of the normal uh, options platform. But what we like to focus on is the NTM, the near the money open interest. So this tells you about the change which is uh, happening very close to where the current market action is. And we believe, uh, that is the driver of big change or big imbalances as they happen. You can play around okay, with these things. Okay, You can have a look at where the market is building open interest, et cetera, and what the at the money and in the money options are doing. This is standard. Uh, this is every, available everywhere else. But uh, we have a lot more features okay, over here. As you scroll down to the lower part of the menu, you'll get a lot more features to help you understand the world of markets, right? So we have uh, what we call the IVIS uh, charts, 
where uh, we are again okay looking at a uh, number of uh, various elements which help you decide uh, which market uh, which strike okay is the one okay which is been chosen by writers which strike okay is the one okay where writers are attempting okay to gain the maximum out of theta etc right so that is the iwis then uh, oiwis oiwis is nothing but open interest visualize it will tell you again okay where the open interest is maximum okay and where it is changing so this is again standard okay you are used to seeing this in a, a lot of uh, options charting programs you would get it for over here over here also the plotting type okay will tell you where the volume activity is coming in so for example today uh, this is today's expiry at 17000 we had the maximum volume being traded so again you need to focus okay on that strike and see what the market is doing at that strike the way we do it is uh, we see where the volume is coming in and we open up profile charts to see what the volume is doing within those charts and that gives us a little bit more in terms of edge and then okay we have a uh, iv curve charts etc implied volatility okay will tell you uh, a lot more okay about what what is expected to happen in terms of uh, market movement uh, whether you need to be a writer whether you need to be a buyer uh, we have okay the standard uh, option snake charts again okay we divided into nifty and bank nifty some of you trade only nifty some of you trade only bank nifty but uh, this will give you that choice which one to look at in terms of data we broken up fi data for you uh, this is uh, today's data is not uploaded but uh, we will give you all the, what the fi's as elements uh, as a as individual traders okay what they do uh, you would be getting it in this section on fi data and there are a lot of other interesting things okay which you could do with the uh, bookmarks etc uh, so that okay you can quickly go back to what uh, you were doing uh, etc uh, there are user settings okay and here you can uh, choose what kind of tpo size you want what kind of settings you want or whether okay you want some of the things to be added in your option stable the option change if you want iv you can select straddle pcr pain etc a number of options are there for you okay to make the most out of uh, what this is there's a glossary section also just in case you are new uh, to the profile you can have a look at it so this was just a small overview as we begin this session i now okay want to call uh, suyog over he is going to be walking you through the functionalities okay which we have within the charts and uh, i like you okay to ask questions at the end when he is done and uh, we will just we just want you want to walk you through what is available in the charts and uh, once you are done i once we are done speaking i think okay most of your questions should be sorted uh, should you have more questions we'll be happy to take them at the end of the program at the end of the session for now i will uh, call suyogin and uh, he's going to be walking you through the various uh, uh, nitty gritties okay the functionalities which are there within the charts thanks shai thanks for the nice intro uh, am i audible well yes hello yeah great okay uh, let me share my screen okay guys uh can you hear can you see my screen now okay okay so as shai has already given a nice overview of what all options we have i'll try to uh, dive in a little bit and try to show you what all features we have you know uh, so like uh, we cannot cover everything in the user manual and a few things like we carried over from impilite also but uh, i'll just uh, give an overview of everything so that you know new and old users all are uh, aware of the things that we support so first and foremost like uh, this is the container uh, for zoom in zoom out it's the simple uh, uh, same behavior as you have in normal charting platforms then uh, if you want to control the tpo size so tpo size would kind of also give you a zooming 
type of uh, effect on the y axis so we can simply do that then we have different options in the bottom please explore them we have these options coming instrument wise so we have like a daily profile view we have a calendar week profile view where uh, each profile is a calendar week like uh, starting monday to uh, friday they have weekly series wise view which is uh, each profile is uh, going from friday to thursday as per the weekly series time cycle we have monthly series profile again which is uh, like uh, since the expiry of a month to the next uh, expiry date and then we have yearly profile as well so just explore these and then apart from these we have a few more utility buttons here so like if you want to show or hide the global volume profile you can do that if you want to see the numbers uh, volume numbers you can see them also just uh, make a note that these numbers are visible only on an optimal zoom level uh, if you zoom out a lot the numbers would go hiding automatically so same is true for the information that is displayed on the chart so this is just because uh, it does not appear garbage on a larger zoom level and uh, the behavior i mean the appearance is good apart from these we have uh, different options in which you can also see these charts so let's say if you just uh, if you want to see uh, both tpo profile and volume profile side by side for all profiles if you want to see uh, the volume profile behind the tpo profile if you want to see just the volume profile with no TPO profile, where all the different uh, POCs and uh, VWAPs are highlighted along with the value area, you can see that. Again, for uh, individual profiles also, we have a volume number availability. So again, it is visible only on a certain zoom level, just in case you wanted uh, to analyze the numbers. Uh, and then we also have this cool feature where you can just simply switch between TPO based VA value area and volume based value area. So uh, sometimes it's useful in a particular type of analysis, like you want to know uh, where the volume was higher versus where the time spent by market was higher. Apart from these, uh, we also have right click context menu options, uh, depending on which profile is uh, selected so for a daily profile we have a particular set of options uh different things that you can do with that profile so you can do a split profile where you can see each tpo in a column this is also explained in the user manual so you can uh, have a look there so like these all these color codings are carry forward from our mplite times we have uh, uh, in pink and in tilde we have the vpoc of that tpo in uh, green equals we have a vwap of the tpo the fluorescent markers are our uh, uh, open interest spikes which we recently introduced in MPLight. so we have carried them over here uh, we used to have a more mouse over text in MPLight. here uh, we will introduce that soon so just have some patience and uh, Apart from that, we also have this uh, feature now. So in Epilite, we used to show all the information below profile. Now here, due to Zoom, we cannot do that or we cannot justify that very well. What we have done is we have moved that information in your right side panel. So for any profile, if you click, just click on that profile, you select and you show display info in right panel, you can see that profile's information, like the different volume numbers, all of that. And uh, if you want to make composites, it's also gotten a lot easier now. So you can just select the first profile. You can select the last profile. Sorry, you can press shift and select the last profile. You can click merge. And here you have your composite. So this, I don't know if it was obvious, but it's also a cool feature. And for composites, we have two types of composites. One is where uh, one TPO represents a day. So when there are lot, when the composite size grows very large, to avoid a very fat composite display, we uh, make one TPO as uh, a day. So if you split this profile, you will see 
each candle represents a day and inside each candle you can see the vpoc and the vwap along with the global means the whole profiles vwap and vpoc so this is similar to our monthly profile which we also had in uh, ampelite and apart from that we have these uh, top buttons so like uh, just to keep a quick overview we have two types of uh, behaviors one is auto saving a chart and one is uh, you can create an explicit bookmark out of a chart so where does it help actually so like you have now create a composite or you would have certain settings so like you like to see your charts at a certain tpo size level or if you want to have if you want to see your charts at like like this where the volume profile is also showing so you can uh, save this whole setting set as either a bookmark or if this is your regular view you can also have it auto save so whenever uh, this is save once this is saved if you reload this chart whatever you saved is not lost okay so otherwise if you don't save it and you refresh uh, the settings that you did would be lost okay so that is one important feature that you need to keep in mind and if for some reason uh, you like to open the same chart in multiple tabs this issue might happen where you have inconsistent auto saved states across charts and due to that you might see a pop up coming up a lot of times which would be like uh, the do you want to save the bookmark or do you want to save this page again and again so uh, the best remedy for that is uh, you can say yes in one of the charts and close the other chart and just uh, try to open a particular instrument in one tab only unless so if you want to have the same instrument with different views so like you want to see a compose a particular type of composite in one view and a different composite in another view the best way for that is creating a bookmark so create a custom bookmark here and uh, you know you can then have n number of bookmarks for that instrument and in each tab you can uh, keep that bookmark open and just to refresh it or use it or update it so and anytime if you think your auto save data is got corrupt just feel free to clear the auto save data so that you know you can uh, start from a fresh container so everything is saved so now like you can see if you if i again refresh this page you will see the uh, default chart always getting loaded so those settings are lost now so auto saved is one behavior but if you want a very customized behavior you can always uh, create a bookmark and you can manage these bookmarks from your bookmarks page so right now i don't have any bookmark created that's why it's uh, a blank page apart from this useful feature uh, so yeah just remember i mean all of these settings so uh, even for uh, weeklies or monthly series if you want a one click link so right now we don't have an option for you know going to weekly or monthly series directly but if you want that option and if you want uh, these uh, different uh, time frame charts open in different tabs and you know we want them auto updated you can always create a custom bookmark per uh, instrument and per type so that's that apart from this uh, we have a few other icons so one of them is so if you are like uh, checking old data and you get lost and you want to come back to the latest profile quickly you can just uh, use this reset zoom action and you will be back on your uh, uh, first profile then you have this uh, line chart icon where you can see a line chart of that particular instrument so this is one way where you can see line chart also and you can go back to here you can also see a price table view which uh, is kind of uh, similar to what we had in the bottom panel so you have date wise different uh, key references shown as a table so uh, we will uh, further improve the experience here in coming time 
but uh, this is also a good uh, place where if you are just a numbers person you can just go there and see which day had what uh, reference and i guess that's pretty much it and yeah the most uh, useful feature that i find useful a lot of times is this multi window view so you can simply uh, if you want to see two different charts side by side So let's say you wanted to see Nifty and uh, Bank Nifty in one, or let's say you wanted to see a uh, call option and the Nifty chart in one. So you can see that side by side. Now this just doesn't stop here. You can have a line chart in one window. You can have a, a market profile chart in one window. And not just any line, uh, a particular line chart, you can have a list of line charts here so you can have all sorts of combinations so just uh, uh, note these menu options so that you can navigate and try these features out and uh, you know have a good use for this chart so that's uh, i think pretty much about this page i hope i'm not missing something uh, are there any questions? Can I take some questions uh, for this page or for this? Uh, you, uh, Shai, uh, can you guys please help me with uh, if there were any questions to share questions? Okay. Okay, yeah, just one more thing I just uh, noticed and forgot. Uh, there is uh, a HVN uh, node also. So if you see, there are two types of markers we have. One is pink and one is brownish. So this is again a uh, carry forward from what we had in uh, MP Light. So the brown markers are high volume nodes. So if you just see the volume profile, some I mean, sometimes it's it appears as if like it has a higher volume. But there is like a very small difference in volumes there and uh, in the actual volume profile, uh, actual VPOC. So uh, just something uh, that you can, you should know. Uh, apart from this, there is one uh, important thing about user settings. Okay? So you can always personalize your experience uh, at a global level from here also. So a few things that you need to know uh, uh like to note here so uh, things like uh, auto save interval if you want to disable the auto saving feature if for some reason you want more control you can simply disable it and uh, so there are other options also just feel free to explore them and these would uh, uh, there is information about these levels so you can control your default behavior using these settings so like these are default tpo sizes where you know if uh, you don't have an auto saved view and you want to change the default uh, tpo size for a particular instrument with which its chart will load you can change the setting here and then whenever you visit that chart the default will be uh, set so so yeah uh, just there are some questions okay which are coming in and uh, related to what we just spoke about so okay. the first question is in weekly charts what are those orange colored lines in weekly charts okay uh this is the correct weekly chart i'm looking at right yeah uh, i don't see an orange colored line i'm sorry which uh, orange colored lines I think, okay, he was mentioning about uh, daily and that could be the IB lines. Those are the ones, okay, in orange. Can you just flip to the daily profile? Yeah, okay, yeah, in the daily profile, okay. So I have added this also in the user manual and uh, yeah, so, so the these are IB levels, yeah. These are IB levels. We have uh, the same color for uh, the A and B period, which are our IB alphabets. And then we have uh, two IB extension and three IB extension as those dotted yellow lines. So uh, if you're familiar with those setups, you would know why, where we use them. And, 
Okay, one more question. Uh, can you just walk us through how you got those two charts? Side by side? Yeah. Okay, so look at this panel here. Uh, again, this is a feature available only for premium plus guys. So you can select any one view, either you can have two horizontal views. If you have a long screen, you can also cho choose a, a top and down view, or you can have a four window view in case you had a very big screen and you wanted to utilize most of it. But uh, for me, two window view is optimal. So here, once you have decided your view here, you can, I mean, so each has its own container. So you can like choose an instrument here. Uh, if you have bookmarks, the bookmarks menu will appear below. Right now, I don't have a bookmark. That's why uh, there is no menu uh, appearing here. But if you have a bookmark, you can also open that bookmark directly from here. It will come in the bottom section. And uh, if you want to navigate to a price table in this uh, container, you can do that. If you want to navigate to line chart instead, you can do that. And again, once you open the line chart, after that, you can see uh, another menu, which is typically line chart specific. And here you can have all those line chart options that you would have. Uh, I mean, you would, I mean, that are available overall. So you can see any chart here. So even, uh, so one of the cool features that we, I sometimes use is uh, like, if you have a IVIS chart here, if you have an IVIS chart here, let's say it's the same nifty options, IVIS charts, right? So right now it is, this is a little being uh, okay wait uh, so there is a little zoom issue that we are still working on and uh, probably next week we'll have this so you can have so here is the same bar chart open in two uh, in side by side window and if you wanted to compare uh, you know one instance of a chart with another instance uh, sorry, uh, you know, you wanted to just compare the same chart at different times, how the data changed. You can just uh, do that easily here. So you can do all sorts of possibilities. Uh, feel free to explore. And uh, that's about it. Anything else, Shai? Uh No, not on the market profile. Can we move okay on to the options uh, part of yeah. it? Options. So, yeah. Up, uh, coming back to the next thing. So yeah, options table, as Shai said, uh, we have uh, all these values. Uh, again, uh, if you are coming from Ampelite, uh, a lot of these would be familiar. Uh, but just to give a few usability uh, tricks, so you can click on. Uh, so in the middle, we have the strike straddle uh, chart links. And then we have a way to create strangle links also. So first I'll show the straddle option. So you can just click on the market profile uh, link of that straddle and you can just navigate. So it will just open up that uh, straddle chart directly. Then if you wanted to create a strangle, you just uh, select a strike from the put side, you select a strike from the call side. And then you'll see a link below for opening that chart. You can uh, see the market profile chart now. And if you wanted to see the line chart also, uh, just click on the line chart container and it should uh, show you. So right now, this is the approach. Uh, this is the preferred approach uh, to go uh, navigating into these uh, different charts. And you can also directly open any option uh, MP chart here. So like Shai said, when you have identified a high volume uh, option here, you can simply uh, check its uh, market profile chart. Uh, see the key references. So like today is expiry. So that's why we have uh, the distorted profiles. Again, these are like, if you see, uh, if you 
uh, want these uh, TPO sizes to be a different uh, number by default, uh, you can control that from user settings. And that's, I guess, uh, pretty much it about the features wise. Again, uh, one more uh, key thing that uh, I need to mention. So right now, a few columns, uh, if you think the table is uh, quite large and it does not fit your screen, uh, we have a, a support at least uh, for hiding a few columns. If we get a few requests, we can add more columns also. So you can simply select a few columns. So let's say these three columns you don't uh, want to see. I mean, just like uh, just to uh, get some more space. Once the settings are saved, if you go back to options uh, table, those columns won't appear and your table would be a little uh, trimmed. So we have these uh, features also. And this is applicable for all the tables uh, that we have. Uh, especially the options table and the index table. So uh, this is also a useful thing if you want your uh, data to fit in screen. And uh, that's, I think, pretty much it about the usability aspect. Of course, Shai already mentioned about the ability to go back in time. And uh, here on the top, you have different uh, instruments, different expiries. So you can select anyone. And uh, we have uh, Fin Nifty also, something wrong with it today. So, but yeah, normally uh, you can, for any instrument, you can go back in time and check and reset to get back. So, I guess that's uh, almost pretty much everything about uh, usability of options chart. Uh, should I move on to the next one? Yeah. Can you just take uh, one or two questions, okay, on this, uh, Sio? Sure, sure. Yeah. So there is a question. Uh, 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 can you illustrate the difference between the premium and the non-premium in the options table? So what would be the extra ones in the premium? Uh, so again, in premium, there are. Uh, two uh, things. So first is um, the way we have structured is uh, for non-premium guys, there is a uh, delay in data plus you uh, don't have a composite uh, VWAP VPOX listed in terms of, so like uh, this was again from our employee days where we just do not show that two days uh, VWAP and VPOX, we also show a few days combined VWAP VPOX so, so we know where the inventory sits. So like three days is a very uh, considerable, I mean, good time frame. So we have selected a three-day option and we see that you have fast data. And then if you go premium plus, you will see these uh, uh, gamma wall levels also in the options table, which is like if you are again a numbers guy, you just wanted to see like where the levels are. So due to expiry today, uh, these are all uh, zero, zero and such values. But normally you would see uh, proper values, so like we have for 23rd March. So these are the basic differences. Okay. The other question was, uh, do we get uh, live IV charts? Yes, you have IV live on the index, uh, uh, the options table, and that gets updated live. Yes, yes. All these IV values are live. Uh, if you needed those curves charts, we have IV curve charts also where we have strike wise uh, uh, IV plotted. So can, you, can you just walk back through that menu where we can get these IV? Okay, yeah. So we have uh, NF IV curve charts and BN IV curve charts. Okay. So these are actually also part of your OI viz charts, but we created a separate option just to highlight the, uh, you know, thing because these are also again something uh, which gives some crucial information sometimes so yeah that's it anything else on this page uh, no not on the options table can we move on sure okay so next is our weeks page so again this is uh, a little more feature rich than what we had in epilite so here we have one single page where we have 
all the options i mean all the uh, near money out of the money i mean like in a uh, relevant range all the options ivs delta gamma theta whatever greeks that are uh, relevant the open interest so all is there in one single page and here also you can uh, use this quick links if you just wanted to navigate to a particular options uh, market profile page or its uh, line chart page so uh, it's again a one page uh, where you know you can find all the strikes and their ltps and uh, you know their greek details so uh, i mean uh, shai can probably talk more about what how greeks can be used but i can uh, only talk about you know how to use this chart <laughs> so uh, that is one thing but uh, so like we have options table where we could go back to past here we can go and see i, I mean try to estimate the future thing so what we can do here is uh so populate ltp is like a shortcut where you get the latest uh, price date and uh, this thing and so let's say if you have a uh, intuition that like uh, what or if you wanted to see what will happen if index goes to 17200 on so okay it's uh, by default friday tomorrow and let's say if you want to see it around noon so you can just click on calculate target and it will show what the possible prices would be could be and again this is keeping the iv constant normally iv does not remain constant now iv fluctuates a little again there are i mean uh, you need some experience to understand i mean like how much uh, uh, iv can change and so in the bottom table what you will see is what the final prices can be so like 16th is expired so you won't see anything there but for others you can see how much the price has can change so like put option how much it can fall or you know call option how can it can go up so that is one uh, uh, aspect of this so like uh, a quick uh, view of what the prices can be and then if you wanted to do a little uh, bit more like if you wanted to you know learn or you wanted to study like how a particular uh, options uh, you know group like let's say the iron condors or uh, different uh, uh, spreads that uh, uh, you know normally traders create if you wanted to see how they can perform you can uh, let's say create a position here so let's say we can if we say uh, i'll have a uh, sorry let's not go with 50 strike uh, 6900 let's say i am i want to sell us i want to see how a straddle sell would work out and that too in a short range so let's say i have 6900 7100 uh sorry strangle fold i will uh i can save a position or i can also actually just calculate the target so uh, i can say weekly straddle i can save it now okay so now in future so let's say we have these values already selected so like on uh, uh, friday at this time i mean how much the gain or loss could be and you can vary uh, date times and then you can again uh, calculate the target for both the whole table and the position as well and then these uh, values can uh, you know these values will keep updating and uh, I mean, so as day, so like next day also, you can again come back and see this from here and uh, see how it behave. I mean, how it uh, worked out. So like you can do all sorts of studies here. You can create multiple positions. You can uh, also, so right now dynamic updation is not allowed. So you cannot adjust these positions as such. And this is mostly for uh, right now for study purposes. Like if you just wanted to see uh i mean learn like how uh, options prices behave and that's this is a good tool to use and plus like if you are interested to you know practice with some paper trading and these things these are again uh, useful so you can also update these positions actually and then you can save and override the position so once you save uh once you do an uh, updated position it actually overwrites it so it is not adjustment that happens it is 
overwriting that happens. And uh, that's pretty much it about this. Uh, again, Shai, any questions? Uh, no, no questions. Okay, on yeah. uh, the Greeks table. Okay, great. Uh, there is a follow-up question on the HV charts. Okay, let's let's get that next. Can we? The question was: uh, Can we have IV and HV charts together? Okay, IV meaning. Uh, Okay, we'll have to like take it on a one-on-one -on -one basis. I mean, like uh, I'll have to think about it. But uh, currently, the HV charts are more like uh, you know historical uh, day-wise uh, price movement, price action capturing charts. So like we have different parameters here uh, based on which we see uh, you know the mean, uh, the average, the mean, the standard deviation of close to close. Or uh, close minus close. So there are lots of parameters which we track. So like if you wanted to just see the gaps, like gap statistics. So when the gaps were higher, so we have a five day and a uh, twenty day mean. So the five day mean would be like uh, it's similar to your uh, uh, moving averages uh, uh, lines. So you can see like in short time frame where the gaps were lower. I mean no. Uh, how the data is so right now i mean you can see the gaps uh, so like a few days back uh, the cycle was at a slow so you could have expected a few gappy moves coming up things like that so these are mostly for your uh, uh, contextual information uh, in a larger time frame and there are different parameters again it would need a independent session of its own like what all different parameters are there and probably how they can be used but yeah, and then IV is like, uh, I don't know, I, I mean, in options context, it's like a strike specific thing that I know. I mean, you can have a VIX chart, but again, it's a little uh, debatable. You can have market profile VIX chart. Um, I mean, we already have a market profile VIX chart. So there we can see. But here on this page, uh, we'll have to see. Probably we can take this offline also, Shai. Like we can also have a VIX here plotted if needed. Sure. Okay. Anything else? So again, uh, just to give a quick overview of index table as well. It takes some time to so yeah. So uh, again, it's the same thing. Uh, like we carry from market profile chart, typical like uh, you know what's the index composition, which is which stock is weighing how much, which stock is uh, you know uh, most gaining, most losing. So you can also sort on these columns. So something which is I think not very obvious. So uh, change percent change. And this net is about you know how much that stock is contributing in number of points terms in the index. So uh, like uh, I mean, twenty eight points of Bank Nifty is like uh, due to only Indescent Bank. That's what this number says. And these are like per point how much uh, the index moves. So there are different uh, parameters, which is like if you are uh, if you want to understand, you know, like which stock can have what type of impact on the index, and you have uh, some command on, you know, how this which stocks can do uh, something. And this would be useful. Nifty futures again has some more information, but uh, yeah. It's all good. So here you can see like uh, average daily volume. So like a very high level uh, stuff. This is again something we carried from Mempilite, like on personal requests, but it's not, uh, does not have all the stocks. We have only few favorite stocks and we focus mostly on uh, indexes. Yes, uh, I, I can move on from here. Uh, 
okay uh spectrum charts i guess i mostly covered uh just to give a usability perspective so guys uh, this uh, number of days that you select here it affects the density of these charts so just uh, as a guidance i normally suggest like uh, you should not have more than one day plotted here and in intraday uh, it's best viewed in intram only mode so right now intra is not active or yeah it by default shows the daily uh, view so in this you can see per minute uh, transition of the price and it is a lot more clear on the patterns so this is valid across all line charts and we have an auto grouping so once you increase the number of days uh, it groups automatically to like five minute time frame charts so sometimes you know the changes uh, like if a line moved it might get little uh, not i mean a little lost i mean i get i don't know what the right word is but yeah i mean it's best if you can if you are like uh, very focused on these charts just uh, choose the intra only option when uh, watching them intraday so that you can you know see per minute changes and uh, you know the information is a lot more clearer and then you can always uh, you know if you just want to focus on a few lines you can just uh, remove the lines uh, by clicking on them their name and uh, you know uh, the chart becomes a little more clearer that's it i think and about these oi change and ntm oi change again same thing i mean these are also like similar uh, similar to other line charts usability wise here you can have larger number of days because i mean the oi change is like not that uh, it's not that important that you need it per minute basis so depends i mean how uh, minutely you want to see it coming to ivs charts so yeah today was expiry so again now uh, the candles are like not well formed so again if uh, something like this happens so if certain value is like uh, you know going out of range you can simply hide that also and the chart starts looking better so this happens so as this is all market generated information we cannot uh, have a lot of control on you know the height and width of these things so here right now we i think mainly support the active weekly expiries we have uh, you can again go back in date and time for a particular uh, uh, you know data pointer again we need a separate session for this like what all different plot types are for our ivs charts for our oi based charts uh, pattern is same just we have different options so these charts are like only open interest based charts and uh, the inventory visualization charts are like a little more than these so they have uh, as i said second order peaks and a lot of uh, custom things so i think we covered ivy curve charts snake charts again are the same uh, usual uh, snakes you can select strikes to see open interest snakes uh, you can have uh, price wise snakes we have iv uh, snakes also so you can have so this is one view where you can have uh, iv uh, for each uh, strike uh, based on your selection and they would uh, you can use this information i guess that's uh, pretty much it i think we are uh, quite uh, near the yes, uh, also. We, we, yeah we are basically around uh, 9 30 right now so uh, we like to okay have a close okay to the session also now there are a number of other things also over here uh, which we like to cover in depth okay maybe okay in another session on uh, this uh, this uh, thing okay on spectrum as well as uh, the highways etc 
uh, needs okay, a dedicated session and uh, we love to have that okay, dedicated session with you and talk to you in depth uh, about what uh, it, it, it could be and the advantages okay, you could have, the practical uh, advantages of uh, using it in a live market. Uh, we want to speak to you in depth about it. For now and uh, for today, uh, our agenda was actually okay, to talk to you about what all okay, you could be doing uh, mostly, okay, what we've done, okay, with the uh, trend charts is uh, basically a DIY experience. Do it yourself. Uh, it's for you, okay, to explore and find out a bit more uh, about how it is. Uh, this is something, okay, which you would get good at as you get into the business of trading. You watch this uh, regularly. You would get to know a lot more about what we are doing. It's simple market profile and it's a simple uh, options mat brought together to give you some powerful information which can okay decipher market uh, generated information for you which can get, decipher uh, data for you now uh, we will go into deep uh, into the remaining aspects of this uh, maybe okay in another program we'll communicate okay to you about uh, what it is uh, for now if you have any questions okay which uh, we have uh, discussed in the past uh, 45 minutes 60 minutes okay we've been here uh, do send it out right now. We call this a uh, live. Uh, we call this live webinar to actually okay take your questions and speak to you about what these uh, charts are all about. So if you have any questions okay for Suyog and for me on what we've discussed, uh, we can take them right now. As a follow up to this session, uh, we like to host another session uh, where we would talk to you in detail, in depth about uh, what these uh, line charts, uh, these option charts and the new elements of the options market uh, can do. So we'll communicate to you okay, about uh, that uh, session, uh, maybe okay, tomorrow day after we'll decide a date and we'll come back to you on that. Uh, for now, if you have any questions, okay, do let us know. So there is a question uh, for you, so yoga ATM yeah. IV chart visualize, visualization. ATM IV chart, uh, I'm not sure like how, what, uh, I mean, like we have uh, IV charts, right? Yeah. Uh, so snake charts, we have, uh, so we have two things. We have one is like uh, the IV curves, which is like uh, at a given time, what different IVs were across strikes. And then we have snake charts where we you can select ITM strikes, OTM strikes, ATM strikes. So like, let's say today, uh, right now it is, uh, okay, probably not. Uh, so it's expiry date has some uh, things, but yeah, you can uh, select strikes there. And these are uh, basically, IV charts only. So you can have number of days. Yeah, the IV okay would be best reflected in this chart. Yeah, so time-wise charts and you can select uh, these options. So it's sometimes just, uh, I mean, things like this blank screen happens. Please uh, feel free to email me at uh, charts at retender.com. So there are typically, uh, you know, border situations like you know due to expiry sometimes the data is blank or you know due to large price move the data is not there or some bug is there just feel free to email me in case such issues happen but uh, normally they are good i mean you can use these charts to watch these uh, details okay the Thanks. other question is uh Suyoga, what is the chart on left in market profile i think uh, the the GV, the global uh, volume. Yeah, it is uh, actually, yes, this is a little dynamic. Uh, I forgot to mention. So it is dependent on the profiles that are visible. And it is uh, the total volume profile of what all profiles are there. So whatever profiles you can see in your view, this is the global combined volume profile of that. So if you were just like... Uh,
uh, on larger time frame. Okay, my internet connection. So you can do that. So like this is global volume profile. You can see there is a clear a low volume node near that is 16800 level, something which is uh, an important zone. So this helps there. All right. Right, guys, I think uh, we are coming to the end of uh, today's uh, session. Uh, it's almost about 9.40 and we have a full session of uh, trading tomorrow, Friday. So I do hope, okay, this was insightful. Uh, and uh, this could okay give you a small beginning into what you can possibly do okay with the power of uh, charts information uh, filled charts okay at your disposal. Uh, I like you okay to go through the menu again and uh, see what uh, you would like and what uh, if you have any questions of course okay you can shoot them to us. Uh, for now we'll call this session to uh, close. Uh, thank you all okay for coming in. Thank you all for listening in. And uh, all the best for tomorrow's session. Right? Thank you. Thank you guys for listening. Have a nice uh, evening. Bye.